Hello, water signs. Welcome to your reading for the coming week. It's going to be very interesting. A lot of stuff is going on. Just, you know, hold tight and we'll get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's quite interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting. You're like, ah, it's not so bad. No, well, I'm like, ooh, that's not some what things are happening. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you could get, go ahead and give like a, a little sneak peek of the reading, but that's okay. We don't want to give away the reading anyway, so. Oh, well, we'll just get into it. Okay, let's Just get into it. Beginning, beginning of the week. <laughs> yeah, what do we got here? We have boundaries. Boundaries. Here we go. So if you're a feminine and you're watching this, this is an invitation to stand in your power. Mm -hmm. um, it's really like, cleaning up your life, like what in your life doesn't feel good, mm -hmm. um, having boundaries with yourself and with those around you, like not allowing, you know, crap and mess and things that don't feel good, making sure that you're shoring that up. Mm -hmm. And you can see the owl, right? It's really just aligning to your divine self, your wisdom, your infinite wisdom and um, inner abundance. And that's going to bring forth a lot of really good things you know later on in the week yeah did you do that well this is basically just moving on from the bullshit right mm -hmm. moving into the light to love basically right so yeah. boundaries is a big part of that standing in your power mm -hmm. like really moving away from all that stuff that you know it's not for you get very clear right beginning of the week just get clear move away from that shit yeah ain't nobody got time for that yes and you can see like as we move in through the week uh here's the divine feminine very much standing in her power she's growing mm -hmm. right there's fruits of her labor beginning to come to fruition and yeah there she's honoring her heart and what it is communicating she's listening to it and as a result of that that's going to trigger the masculine but that's a good thing it's the tower people it is and so Problem. yeah when the feminine or masculine you can swap this too like if the masculine is watching this if you're standing in your power it's going to trigger the feminine mm -hmm. and what it's triggering is the ego it's not triggering their divine self it's triggering the ego but that's the thing that you want to go anyways yeah. is because you can't be in a place of peace and harmony in your union when there's separation so it's really healing the the core of that so yes mm -hmm. feminine standing in her power results in triggering the false illusions that the masculine might be holding on to about himself. Tower comes crumbling down, which you want that. Yep. And it's also, this is also comes out to a seven, right? So yeah. Seven. So you're on the right path. It's all good. No matter what it looks like, it mm -hmm. could look like a bit of a mess, but it's quite all right. Yeah. Right on the path. Yeah. Don't That's get it. caught up on what's happening externally. Yeah. Just trust what you feel in your heart. Mm -hmm. And if what we're saying resonates, then relax into the truth of that yeah. because uh, it's basically love through us communicating to the love in you and you're going to feel mm -hmm. that in your heart. Yeah. So yeah, like going towards the end of the week, here's more of that energy, the distorted masculine. So you can see just like in the mm -hmm. um, beginning of the week, what we were saying is like the, the feminine or it can be for the masculine too, whoever's watching this. Um, you're really getting clear mm -hmm. on what in your reality doesn't feel good, what's not in alignment with you, and you're cleaning that up, right, mm -hmm. to having that perfection. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens on your counterpart, your twin flame, is that they're going to start recognizing the mess in their reality as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, this doesn't feel good. And something that um, was coming up for me is that before Adam and I knew that we were true twin flames, um, I was healing very early on um, in my twin flame journey. I was healing uh, codependency. And the way that that looked in my life was like letting go of that or letting go of a, a soulmate because there was a very codependent relationship there. And then little did I know until, you know, we come into Harmonious Union and we were talking, um, Adam was letting go of codependency with uh, your mom. Mm -hmm. And so that was happening simultaneously, but of course we couldn't see it. We had no clue that that was happening, you know, with each other. But uh, as I was healing that, Adam was healing that, or as Adam was healing that, I was healing that. And so although it looked different in our reality, we were healing at the core the same thing. And that's why we say, don't get caught up on the physical because it's happening in your twin flame as well, the healing, 
but it's going to look different. And so, yeah, you might see that, oh man, my man or my woman is looking very messy, my twin flame, but know that they're, they are cleaning that up and you got to trust. You got to have faith in the divine here that um, it is working out in your favor. Yeah, I want to point out in this card too that, you know, there's a lot of kind of like uh, dark symbolism here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's, you know, money, good stuff, but you know, the sun is coming in here, right? Mm -hmm. On the top there. And, and, you know, snakes, they can often be viewed as, you know, um, evil. Or bad. Yeah, sneaky, deception, all that stuff. But it's also a, a sign of healing, yes. right? And the, and the yeah, snake, the shedding of the skin. Yeah, um, yeah, right there. <laughs> right there <laughs> yeah they have they they can basically they can't survive if they don't shed skin because they're growing so they mm -hmm. would you know basically die if they didn't shed the skin yeah. so this is like a symbol of our healing like we were gonna have to you know move into bigger things mm -hmm. as we um heal mm -hmm. so shed that skin yeah big things are happening here and i love the last card it's like confirmation of all mm -hmm. of this but it says romance angels are helping you and you can see a very happy divine masculine, right? All the mm -hmm. romance angels, they're supporting you mm -hmm. and your twin flame and healing, whatever it is that you're moving mm -hmm. through this week, which results in harmony and peace in your union. This is a really good sign. It's a happy, happy uh, feminine and a happy masculine coming together. Very good. Did you have anything else to add to that? No, this is good stuff. So good. lots of things to look forward to here. Mm -hmm. It's good. All good on the right path remember so we'll see you in the next video see you in the next video bye bye, bye, -bye.